Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the latest edition of the Big Premier League Quiz. We've got our resident expert, the brain of Bootle, Jamie Carragher, and we've got a fox on the box in James Madison. James, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Um, okay. You have the first task. Uh, is I have a coin in one of my hands here, and you have to choose which hand it's in, or have a go at choosing which hand it's in. So you I think go it's in your left one, Martin. I think it's in your left hand. It's in my left hand. You have the choice whether to go first or second. Who am I against, Jamie? Against Jamie, yes. Not oh. against me. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm going to go second. Let's see okay. What, see what he's oh, he's first. bottled it. He's bottled it already. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, round one, it's Jamie Carragher on Liverpool. We've still got enough questions for this. And we start with, Jamie, in your 508 Premier League appearances, Liverpool scored seven in a Premier League game only once. Who was it against? Uh, I think it was Southampton at, uh, at Anfield. And I think I scored in the game. He scored the fifth goal. So the yeah. fifth goal yeah. doesn't really matter, does it, really? It wasn't <laughs> the first or the second. Anyway, it's 7-1 a win in January 1999. In your final Premier League season in 12-13, you made 11 away appearances in the Premier League, which was the only one that ended in defeat? Oh, uh, oh God. <laughs> Not a bad record. That you'd take that, wouldn't you, James? <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> Any any bit of a clue? No. I didn't play I didn't play at United. Can't have been Leicester. Oh, I'm struggling here. No, I can't think, Martin. It was the opening day defeat at West Bromwich Albion when you came on as a substitute after an hour trying to repair the damage, but it didn't, didn't seem to work. Didn't that start, day. Jamie, no? Why weren't you in the team? <laughs> no, though? no. Brendan was trying to get them young players a go and then he worked out who was best players were second half of the season, you see. He finally worked it out. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't quite worked you out yet, though. You'll get his foot. You out. Don't worry. I'll get into that one. I'll get into that one. Uh, your final Premier League appearance was against Q QPR on May, uh, in May 2013. One of the QPR players who started that day, you had previously played alongside for England. Who was it? Uh, must have been the goalkeeper. Rob Green? Correct. Name the player you won the 1996 Youth Cup with... Uh, who went on to make 167 Premier League appearances, some of them for Liverpool. I would say, oh, it's not Michael Owens, he played a lot more than that. I would say that would be David Thompson. Correct. Name the only two opposing teams which scored four Premier League goals in a match at Anfield during your time as a Premier League player. Well, I think Arsenal done it in a 4-4 draw. And I think we, we, we lost to Chelsea, Jose Mourinho's team 4-1 at Anfield as well. Didier Drogba tore you apart that day, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I just get hell on these shows, honestly, God. Watch that on I don't mean you, I don't mean you personally, I meant the team apart. Um, in 2008-2009, Liverpool finished the Premier League runners-up to Manchester United with 86 points. How many points behind United did you finish? I think it was four. It was four. Which player was sent off in the first half of his Premier League debut for Liverpool on the opening day of the 10-11 season against Arsenal? Joe Cole. Joe Cole, Correct. yeah. Rafa Benitez spent six years in charge of Liverpool. Which player scored the most Premier League goals for Liverpool during that period? Ooh. It was only out of two, I would imagine. So, Torres or Stevie, I would say... Stevie Gerrard. Correct, 60. Name two of the three players to score a Premier League hat-trick for Liverpool when they were in their 30s. Uh, oh, God. Stevie Gerrard must be one. Yeah, against Everton. Dear Kite. Correct. Against Manchester United. Yeah. And the other was Maxi Rodriguez, who did it twice. And the last of your 10 questions, Jurgen Klopp was appointed Liverpool manager in October 2015. Who scored Liverpool's first Premier League goal under him? Oh, the first game was Tottenham, wasn't it? That was that was nil nil. Uh, was. First goal for Jurgen Klopp. Skatel. Wrong. Christian Benteke. Oh, was it? Oh. That's your ten. Uh, he's got a bit quiet, game. James. He was a bit chippy, wasn't he, at the start? And then I was getting them all right. He's, he's actually uh, <laughs> he's a bit now, isn't he? You started your career, as we all know, at Coventry. 
Yeah. Which current Premier League captain had a loan spell at Coventry in the 08-09 season? Which current Premier League captain? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you hear it, right? You know the queen just buying time. <laughs> Jamie, can I concentrate? Is there any way I can mute him up there? <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to do that for years. 08-09. <laughs> Are you... He's one of the reasons why you can't get a game for England. <laughs> Jordan Henderson. It's Jordan Henderson. Got there in the end. Coventry were one Hendler of the founder that, members of the Premier League. In which season were they relegated from the Premier League? It's going to have to be an educated guess. 2004. No, it was 2001 when they finished 19. Uh, you moved to Norwich in February 2016. Who is Norwich City's top scorer in Premier League history? It's got to be a striker, isn't it? Uh, Norwich born and still lives in the county. I know who it is. Do I get a bonus poke button? No. Grant Holt. No, it was Chris Sutton. It is Chris Sutton. Chris Sutton uh, no. Number four. Norwich beat Leicester 1-0 in their last Premier League home game. Before this current break, who scored the goal? Jamal Lewis. Yeah, correct. You made your Premier League debut. We were there. Leicester's 2-1 defeat at Old Trafford, August 2018. Who scored the goals for Manchester United that evening? Paul Pogba scored a penalty early on and... Left back. It was quite a historic goal for the player who scored it. Who's left back for Man United, James? Come on. Luke Shaw, yeah, of course. It was a lucky little ricochet up to him. I just couldn't remember his goal. I didn't want to say it and then not go in and then you go, ha, ah, it wasn't really him. <laughs> <laughs> but we're never going to do that to you. Well, he might, but I'm not going to. Um, you scored your first Premier League goal against Wolves, August 2018. How many Premier League goals have you scored? 13. Correct. Always like players to know that. Yeah. Uh, name the two Premier League teams you have scored two goals against in different games, obviously. Huddersfield, two free kicks. Jamie's probably watched them a few times. Um, <laughs> and Watford. Watford is correct. Huddersfield and Watford. Uh, you scored in Leicester's 9-0 Premier League win at Southampton in October. Which two teams were involved in the only other 9-0 in Premier League history? Uh, Man United? Yes. Do I have to say who they played against? You have to know who they played against, yeah. Oh, God. Were you trying to beat that record, weren't you, on the night? Yeah, well, Jen, Johnny Evans somehow seemed to know the record because I've whipped a free kick in to make it 8-0 and gone and done a knee slide and Johnny's like, man, get up, get back. And I was thinking, <laughs> Johnny, let me have my moment, will you? Jesus. <laughs> Hip switch. Correct. Well done. A Norwich City player should know that, really. Uh, Leicester won the Premier League title in the 2015-26 season, the great fairy story of the Premier League. How many Premier League goals that season did Jamie Vardy score? I think it was 24. I'll stop you there in case you go in another direction. That's right, 24. Both it's you and Jamie Carragher both, uh, both played in the Premier League under Brendan Rodgers. At which club did Brendan start his senior, senior managerial career? I want to say Reading. No, I, would, I, I wouldn't say, say Reading. I wouldn't say Reading. We've chatted about it as well. Obviously, we ain't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure it's like Swansea Watford Watford I knew that sorry Jaffa <laughs> <laughs> we should get the scores now Jamie you've got eight and seven for James so it's very tight very competitive James' questions were when, when, when he was in the peak of his career mine was when I was seven years old so let's just <laughs> um, now we're on to James to this uh, who am I question where um, you can have a guess I give you one sentence about a player, uh, you get five points if you get it right with the first one, and we work down to one if you get it right at the end. But um, yeah. Jamie goes first, and here we go. I made my Premier League and international debut as a teenager. Uh, Theo Walcott? No. I made 358 appearances during 15 years in the Premier League. 160 of those appearances were for Liverpool. Michael Oman? No. I started for England alongside Jamie Carragher at a major tournament. Hmm. Can't have been that many to choose from. 
We need to get him on Monday night football. We'll have a good four hours with you. I'll put you right in your place. Uh, uh, Raheem Sterling? No. I scored on my first Premier League appearance for Liverpool at Anfield in a 4-0 win against Stoke in August 2009. You played in the game. Glenn Johnson. It's Glenn Johnson. So I think that's just a couple of points now. There's a chance for you, Matters, to uh, really get your nose in front here. Who am I? I made 32 appearances when Leicester won the Premier League title in 2015-16. Danny Drinkwater. Nope. I've won 78 caps for my country and represented them at two major tournaments. That is so easy now. Jamie Vardy. Nope. 78 I, caps for England. <laughs> I assisted. I just don't need that distraction up there. Just let me concentrate, Jamie. But I've only got two points on this, so I've got to do everything I can to make sure you're going to I assisted Jamie Vardy's record-breaking goal in that 1-1 home draw against Manchester United in November. Christian Fuchs. You've got it. Well done. That's three I points. Just I know Ben Chilwell didn't make any appearances that season, so I just thought he made more, more appearances. So we're level now then, aren't we? Yeah, you're yeah. level. And it's uh, all to play for in round three, where you get five questions each on each other's club. So it's Jamie on Leicester. He's a, he's a Liverpool fan. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> family of Liverpool fans is that right Jamie my that? mother's a big Liverpool fan she'll probably be watching yes. this at some point as well Jamie Carragher fan absolutely not <laughs> <laughs> Leicester won the Premier League title in 2015 Cara 2015-16 which team finished as runners up that was Arsenal correct Jamie Vardy is the top scorer in the Premier League this season how many goals has he got I think he's got 21. Wrong, 19. Oh. This is a really interesting question. You played against Leicester nine times in the Premier League. How many times did you lose? Uh, I remember one where Ian Marshall scored at Anfield. He got the winner on nil. I'm going to go three. Five. Oh, Leicester beats us five times. Leicester. Yeah. That's our show shot, Jamie. Come on. Oh, God. You probably look this up because I know you do a bit of prep. Who has made the most Premier League appearances for, Le for Leicester City? Well, it's not an easy one, that man. Is it this era's team or maybe Martin O'Neill's era's team? Give me a little bit of a clue. Yeah, you deserve a clue, I think. It's not this team. Jerry Taggart. Good shout, but it was Muzzy, is it? 222. Uh, last of your five, Liverpool beat Leicester 2-1 in the Premier League at Anfield last October. Who scored for Leicester? Oh... Jammy goalkeeper should have saved it at the cop end. I remember it. Yeah, got a little bit cocky, got a bit arrogant, thought he got the point. <laughs> and then you don't get that. off the world's best centre half and slide it in, didn't it? Uh, yeah. It was James Madison. Right, James, you're on Liverpool. Which player has scored the most Premier League goals for Liverpool this season? Oh. He won't get that one. Mo Salah. He has got that one. Which player has been shown the most yellow cards for Liverpool in Premier League history? Jamie Carragher. Correct. 70. Of course, he, that, he, that. He, did, he did play a lot of games. You've got to in tackle which... people to get a yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> in which season did Liverpool last win the league title, James? He's doing that look. You see when he looks away from the camera, he's got someone behind the camera. I think it must be his mother who's a big Liverpool fan. <laughs> Liverpool fan <laughs> Move on, Martin. We've got too much time. Yeah. He's got another interview to do. Isn't he? No, it was 1989-90. Of course, they'd never won the Premier League. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Forgot about that one. Uh, <laughs> question four of your last five. Who is the only player to score 25 or more goals for Liverpool in a Premier League season in two separate seasons? So this player did it twice, 25 plus Premier League goals. Famous striker. Man, these are too easy. It's, it's, <laughs> it is, it is. It's a joke. I mean, how is he not going to get that? You would probably wouldn't remember him. Would have watched our Premier League years. A um, star of Premier League years, and particularly those years. Ian hey, Rush. No, it was Robbie Fowler. <laughs> And the last one, Liverpool beat Leicester 4-0. I'm sorry to remind you of this at the KP Stadium on Boxing Day. Who scored twice for Liverpool? Sadio Mane. It was Roberto Firmino. Oh! Was, yeah. 
Is this okay, time, big officer. time, or is this, is this it, or is this, have I just pipped them? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if you just, he likes the sound of his own voice, doesn't he, Cara? <laughs> hey, you're not shy yourself. <laughs> <laughs> we, we haven't finished, boys, because the tie break is needed. Oh, perfect. 12 each. Right. The nearest I mean, wins. Now, it's the to first you. time in the very long and distinguished history of the big Premier League quiz, we've gone to the tie-break question. You've both played under Brendan Rodgers. How many Premier League games has Brendan Rodgers managed? Nearest wins, either higher or lower, but the nearest. I think it's going to be about 188. Higher or lower, James? I'm going to go higher. Just 189. 189 wins because it was 199. <laughs> James yeah, Madison has beaten our resident expert, the brain of Bootle. Say that again, Martin. Day, like <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you very much. Great Wars entertainment. Uh, a wonderful finish. And we'll be back with another edition of the big Premier League quiz very shortly. 